Susan. Oh, those are delicious. <sighs> hey, Colleen. Grandma, what do you think you're doing? Why, hello there, dear. Grandma, we had an agreement. I know, sweetheart, but you've been so swamped lately. And running the market is my responsibility now. You're retired? Just don't want you feel like you have to come in on here all the time. Fine. Just let me take care of that one last customer. Then I'll be on my way. I promise. Mm -hmm. I try to get her to leave, I swear. Mm-hmm. Then why do I smell warm strawberry jam, huh? Grandma's famous strawberry scones. Hey, fine, I caved. You know I have a weak spot for her pastries. <sighs> and the tabloids, apparently. What? I like to stay informed. I don't understand what's so interesting about celebrity drama. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Jonas Conway. Why am I not surprised? Atlanta's most eligible bachelor is at it again. The media sure does love to hate him. Yeah, can you blame him? I mean, this is his brand. Opinionated, controversial, judgmental, and stubborn. And the worst part is, young chefs idolize him. It's the bank. Hello? Uh, yes, this is she. Hi, Shirley. Oh. Okay, uh, yeah, I understand. That makes perfect sense. Thanks for letting me know so soon. Okay, bye-bye. So, what'd she say? Can you explain this to me? Sure. That's not my good side. This is. I can't do anything about bad photography. Jonas, right? enough. I'm serious. This is the third time this month that we've had a negative headline. All press is good press, right? Insulting and offending your co-judge in the middle of a live series finale of Gourmet Relay is not good press. Come on, Ava, lighten up. I know the routine. They called you. You promised to talk some sense into me. Go ahead, lay it on me. What is it that you need to tell me? Well, you're fired. Wait, what? You're out. The network's moving in a new direction. Ratings are low and this isn't helping. Sorry, Jonas, but as your manager, you left me no choice. Oh, no. No. A PR firm? Not a chance. Seriously? If we're gonna get you back on the show, and fast, we need to do something now. Can't do this alone. It's time to call in reinforcements. It's okay. Um... Shirley said we can reapply once our quarterly numbers go up. Oh, so we still have a chance. How much up? Uh, way up? Way up. First, the big box grocer opens up around the corner. And now this. You know, that loan was supposed to pay for renovation. Then those renovations were supposed to increase new business. <sighs> How's a girl supposed to get ahead in this world? I know you hate when I bring this up, but... What about taking Dexter up on his offer? No. 
now. Dexter works for one of the biggest PR firms in Atlanta. He doesn't want to take on a small client like us. Maybe you're right, but he's also your best friend and he's offered to help like a million times. What are you so afraid of? I am not afraid. I just don't want to be a burden. No, you just don't like to ask for help. That is so not true. Great, then it's settled. Would you like to give him a call or shall I? Cute. Give me that. I knew you'd come around. Dexter, seriously, if this is too much for you to take on right now, I understand. I know how busy you are. Are you kidding me? Leah, I am your best friend. We grew up on the same block. Of course I want to help. Your dream of transforming the market into a holistic teaching center where people can learn to grow and cook their own food, it's genius. Mm -hmm. Expensive, but genius. Which is why I've come up with a little plan. I like to call it Operation Market Makeover. I have mapped out a social media strategy, a fresh new marketing scheme, and a community outreach program, all geared toward growing your customer base and raising awareness for your initiatives. Dexter, I, I don't know what to say. You, you've, you've thought of everything. <laughs> and that's not all. Voila, the grand finale, a pop-up restaurant. A restaurant? Um, like with people and, and, and servers. And home-cooked organic food? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Um, you want me <laughs> to cook for all these people? Pop-up restaurants are all the rage. They attract large crowds, and the event could generate a ton of new customers for Lucy's Market. Okay. Okay, say that I, I did agree to this plan of yours. There is still that one fact that uh, hosting a big event like this would cost a fortune. We're, we're barely making ends meet as it is. That's why you have me. I'll come up with a plan to cover the cost. Just give me a couple of days to figure it out. Okay. 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 You won't regret it. Are those the numbers for this quarter? Grandma, what are you doing here? I just ran out of eggs, and I thought I'd come by and pick up a couple dozen. At 11 o'clock at night? Come on. What's wrong with me helping out my granddaughter once in a while? Nothing. I appreciate it. I just want to make sure you have enough support. I do. I had a meeting with Dexter today. He's helping me organize a PR campaign for the market. You reached out to Dexter? Yep, it's, uh, it's, it's gonna be huge. A whole new image makeover. Like I told you, I have everything under control. Okay, I stand corrected. Good night, sweetheart. Night, Grandma. It's like she doesn't even trust me. I'm sure that's not true. Well, she's retired. She could be traveling the world right now, but instead, she's watching me like a hawk. It's the only explanation. Retirement can be a huge adjustment for some people. Maybe she just needs time. Right. So listen, Dexter called, and it seems like he's got something up his sleeve, so I'm gonna be a little late. I'm walking into his office right now. That a girl. Seize the day, carpe diem, and all that jazz. Later. Okay. Jonas Conway? No. No, absolutely not. We have a busy couple of weeks, but if we can all get along, I am confident we can pull this off. What is this? 
it's important that people see you spending time together before the pop-up restaurant. So, I've scheduled a couple of activities. It'll help us build rapport. A cooking class for the kids at the market. Volunteering at the community garden? You've got to be kidding me. What is wrong with gardening? Lucy's Market donates a third of its profits to various urban garden initiatives around Atlanta. The idea is to play to each of your strengths, Leah's green thumb and your culinary expertise. Which is why I'm here, to help and give back to the community. Oh, brother. Excuse me? Nothing. All right. On that note, we will have our first public event tomorrow, a meet and greet at Atlanta's Farmer's Market. Make sure to bring your Sharpie. You will be signing a lot of autographs. Okay. Let the partnership begin. He's late. Don't worry. He won't miss his own meet and greet. Okay, turn around. A little something for social media. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I was kind of hoping he would. And post. Sorry, no backing out now. Ooh, I should take on the meet and greet. Sure. Jonas Conway? It's you. It's really you. It's me. And you are? Lucy. Nice to meet you. My granddaughter and I are huge fans. We watch Gourmet Relay together all the time. Can I get a selfie? Of course you can. Oh, there's my granddaughter now. Leah Deer, over here. Grandma, what are you doing here? I couldn't miss the opportunity to catch you and Jonas in action. Get together, you two. I want to take a photo. Say cheese. Cheese. My granddaughter and the iconic Jonas Conway. People are there. Out when they hear about this. Did you hear that? Iconic. Don't let it get to your head. How come you didn't tell me you were a fan? Because I'm not. Your grandmother says otherwise. Just because we watch your little show doesn't make me a fan. Oh, yeah? So what does that make you? A good granddaughter. Thank you. Let's get to work. Should be fun. These are delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're never gonna believe this. We sold out of eggplant. Oh my gosh. I know, we never sell out of eggplant. No, look. Over here, one minute at a time, over here. Uh, we're gonna be on TV. We're gonna be on TV. Hey, I am Leah Alexander, the owner of this is Marcus. Is. What is Jonas, that? I get up road. So tell me, why Atlanta? That's a great question. To be honest, I thought, what better time to reconnect with my roots? Atlanta's been my home for years, and I want to get back to my community. And why Lucy's Market? Supporting local has always been important to me. I'm super excited to help put this struggling Atlanta business back on the map. Struggling? Go get him. Hi, uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry, uh, I, I hate to interrupt. Lucy's Market is already on the map. In fact, we have been a staple here in this community for over four decades. Um, a family-owned business built on the foundations of sustainable farming practices. I'm sorry, who are you? 
I am Leah Alexander. I am the owner of Lucy's Market. And as Mr. Conway here so wrongly insinuated, um, we, we are definitely, um, we're not struggling. We just like to keep things more uh, intimate and um, personal with our uh, customers. Which is why you reach out to me. Our values are totally aligned. Right, because nothing says down to earth like a reality TV star. Oh, so Leah, what made you reach out to Jonas? While we're on the record, um, I would like to state that technically, Jonas here reached out to me. Is that true? Yeah, that is. Some people have a hard time asking for help. Hi, I'm sorry. I have to steal these two away, but any further questions can be directed to Image Public Relations. I just had one more thing to say. And that's and that thank is you. Dexter. What do you two think you were doing? I was trying to generate good publicity. For yourself, maybe. Enough. Do you have any idea how serious this is? Any ounce of negative press will completely derail our plan. Right, that's why I can't have him ruining Lucy's long-standing reputation. And by long-standing, I think you mean non-existent. Look, I know you two are both very passionate about your opinions, but we have to find a way to channel this into something positive. Like the zucchini race. That's it. You two are going to compete. That'll fix this. Oh, yeah, race. You're on. Care to make it more interesting? No. You will compete together. We are on the same side, remember? I cannot believe I have to remind you this, but all three of our careers are riding on this. He does have a point. I guess, yes. Oh. See? You do have something in common. I suppose we could be civil. Right? At least while the media is hanging around. Exactly. Okay, fine. Deal. Deal. How about this one? How about not? Oh, come on. Why not? It's perfect. It's got character. The heavier the zucchini, the faster the cart. Trust me. And who made you the zucchini car racing expert? My grandma and I used to race every year when I was little. I've got this down to a science. Okay, fine, we'll do it your way, but you have to admit there is something to be said about originality. Well, there is also something to be said about reliability. You really know how to live life on the edge, don't you? You pass me the glue. No, that's how you make a zucchini car. You're right, that is pretty cute. Cute? You, you two are going down. Guess the competition's different than we thought. picture with the winner. Of course. Don't worry. You guys did a good job, too. Thanks. Gabe. Well, well, look who it is. If it isn't the man himself. Morning, Gabe. Congratulations. Looks like this Lee is finally starting to rub off on you. I haven't seen you smile like this since you graduated culinary school. Yeah, don't let the smiles fool you. It's all for show. What's not to like? Lucy's Organic Market seems like a great business. She's a catch. It's a PR campaign, Gabe. The sooner the scheme works, 
the sooner I get my job back. Why the rush? You said you were feeling burnt out. I am. I need a vacation, not a laundry list of community events to attend. Do you know that they're making me spend all afternoon at some community garden? Trying new things is the perfect cure for burnout. You might even get inspired for that cookbook you always talked about writing. I don't need some garden for inspiration. I've got all the inspiration I need. Right here. I'm gonna make you pay for that. You know I am. Beautiful, beautiful, you look very handsome. Leah, you're looking great. Relax, okay, beautiful. Lift the shovel a little higher, like this. Perfect. Leah, I can do this yeah. all day. Beautiful, big smiles, big smiles. Okay, let me see. All right, I think that wraps things up. We have plenty to work with here. Awesome. Thank you, Dexter. Well, I don't know about you, but all that gardening has me famished. What do you say we grab some ice cream? I'll take that as a no. You didn't actually think you were gonna get off the hook that easy, did you? Well, I mean, technically we were gardening. You held a shovel. That wasn't gardening, that was a photo shoot. Yeah, but... What is that thing you people say again? Uh, if you can't take the heat... Get out of the kitchen? Oh, yeah. That's the one. Come on. one of gardening. <clears throat> Don't steal my carrots. Rule number two, stay cool. Perfect timing. Yeah, nothing draws people in like ice cream. I thought this would help raise awareness for the community garden. Plus, I thought the volunteers deserved a little treat, and seeing as how I'm a volunteer, one pistachio ice cream cone, please. Make that two. <laughs> mm. Oh, it smells so good. Thank you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? These shelves aren't gonna stock themselves. Oh no, you know the rules. Leah doesn't want you overworking yourself. There's strawberry rhubarb pie under the counter. Fine, and after today, no more bribes. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. You, you were? Yeah. Oh, right, the sauce. Well, if you need help finding anything else, just let me know. Actually, before you go? Yes? I'll take the whole crate. Oh, oh, sure. I'll, I'll bring it up for you. Okay. Pistachio, huh? I would have pegged you for more of a mink chocolate chip type of girl. <laughs> And what is that supposed to mean? Sweet, but with a little bite, or a lot, depending on the day. Oh, hey. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am quietly refined, just like the pistachio. Refined? Uh, I wouldn't say that, but generous. I, I really appreciate all this. We've never had so many visitors in one day. It's my pleasure. 
Well, who knows? <laughs> you know, maybe if gourmet relay doesn't work out, gardening can be your plan B one day. <laughs> it certainly is a lot more peaceful out here than in the studio, that's for sure. Yeah. It's nothing like a garden. Sure, it's hot and exhausting. Critters are always stealing your carrots, but it gives back if you let it. What do you mean? Uh, well, <laughs> take that garden bed, for example. Might not look like much right now, but in a few months, it's going to be full of vegetables for us to enjoy. Seeds want to grow. They just need to be planted in the right environment to reach their full potential. Here, you can try it sometime. Oh, thank you. Someone's hungry. Gabe, this is amazing. Got the Lucy's Market to thank for that. I was by there today. Got some of the ingredients. It's quite the spot. Great customer service, too. Oh, no. No, don't give me that look. What, what look? Oh, please. Last time you gave me that look, you wrote me into helping you retile your bathroom floor. Not gonna happen. Okay, yes, but this time it isn't about manual labor. I was wondering, since you seem to be so enamored with Lucy's Market, maybe you'd be interested in helping us out with the pop-up restaurant. Tomorrow's our first meeting. And I know things around here have been super busy, but you've always been saying that I should try something new and sure. a new thing. I'll do it. What? I, but I had this whole speech plan. No need. I'd love to help out. Hmm. What? What? And what in the world is going on out there? What are all those people waiting for? We're full up and they're waiting to get in. That's impossible. That's more people than we usually get all day. Just don't forget about me when you're all rich and famous. Give me that. <laughs> of course. They're not here to buy produce, they're here to see Jonas. So, business is business. Yeah, but Jonas isn't gonna be around forever. Why not? According to that article, and I quote, you two are inseparable. That's exactly what I was afraid was gonna happen. At least people are talking about you. Yeah, for now. Once he's back on the show, we'll be yesterday's news. We need repeat customers if we're ever gonna survive in this town. Which is exactly why we need to use this opportunity to our advantage. You always say our product speaks for itself. Once they try it, they'll be hooked on Lucy's. I guess you're right. Now this, this is what I'm talking about. You and Leah really stepped up your game. We have. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I think the two of you actually enjoy spending time together. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Fooled you. Oh, this is a massive step in the right direction. Any word from the network yet? No, not yet. But keep up the charade for a little longer. Before you know it, they'll be begging to have you back. All right, all right, sorry I'm late. Let's get this started. Okay, we have a lot of work to do if we are gonna turn this rooftop into a pop-up restaurant in a couple of weeks. It's true. Yes. So, I have a list of tasks. I, of course, will be in charge of advertising and marketing. Jonas, Leah, you'll be in charge of the menu. And Jade, you're in charge of entertainment. Okay, that's good Great. for you. So, the only Roles left to fill are staffing and decorating. Any takers? 
Sure. I don't mind. No, no, no. You guys have already done so much already. I'll take care of that. I don't mind. Sign me up. What? Grandma. I can see it already. We put the stage over there, hang drapery up there, and we can use the flowers from the community garden for the bouquets. It's perfect. I like the way you think, Lucy. Wait, hold up. I'm not so sure about that. I don't want everyone doing so much. So did I miss anything? Gabe, you made it. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Gabe. He's a close friend of mine, and he owns Gabriel's Italian restaurant down the street. He's offered to help us out. Thank you, Gabe. <laughs> nice to see you again. Lucy, right? Yes, Lucy. It's nice to see you again, too. All right. Um, where were we? Staffing. Ah, right. Staffing and decor. Gabe could probably help with staffing, right? Of course. My staff would love to help out for a good cause. Perfect. And if you'd like, we could donate some decorations, too. We've had our fair share of weddings at the restaurant over the years. Sure. Lucy's in charge of facilitating decorations, so you two can work together. Sounds like we have our work cut out for us, huh? Yes, we sure do. <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> Did I just see my grandma blush? Can you blame her? Gabe is a total hunk. You're right. <gasps> Maybe what my grandma needs is a new friend. Yes. Be okay with me. Get her off my back at work. <laughs> They're so cute. Look. All right. Now that everyone has their tasks, let the pop-up preparations begin. I thought we were supposed to be working on the menu. I thought every chef knew that a good meal doesn't start in the kitchen, it starts in the garden. I can't argue with you there. It's important to me that we use as many garden fresh, locally sourced ingredients as possible. Okay, how about this? Kale Caesar with filet mignon wine sauce, pomme fondant, and charred green beans. Not bad. You have something better in mind? Well, since you asked, I was thinking a kale and radish salad with homemade potato gnocchi and roasted veggies. Oh, wow. A gardener and a chef. Not really a chef, exactly. Just, it's a family favorite. My grandpa used to make gnocchi every year when the potato harvest came in. Maybe we should go off book a bit, though. Uh, try something new. Like a... Oh, I got it. Spicy bacon and goat cheese stuffed peppers. I think we should stick with the classics, okay? There is a lot riding on this. All the more reason to take the risk. A pop-up restaurant is a risk. Which is why we should think outside the box. Trust me, you don't want a boring menu. There's nothing boring about classics. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Prove it. Happy to. All right. How about a cook-off? Tomorrow, Gabe's restaurant. The best meal wins the menu. Unless you're afraid of losing. But if you're so sure of yourself, then why don't we make it even more interesting? How about we invite the whole gang? Gabe, Dexter, Jade, and my grandma. They'll choose the winner. Unless you are too afraid of being judged. May the best meal win. Fine. <laughs> Yeah. Is that a one or is that a three? Oh. Grandpa, please talk to me. Knock, knock. Oh, uh, I'm in here. Are you ready to head out? Whoa. I'll take that as a no. Dex, I am so sorry. I totally forgot. No, no, no. It's okay. We'll just hang out. Who needs martinis when you've got, um... My grandfather's name was Pesto Gnocchi. Yep. You're definitely a shoe-in for the cook-off tomorrow. Okay, so it's been a few years since I've made it. 
Would help if I could read his handwriting. Grandpa certainly didn't get an A in penmanship. Why don't you ask Lucy? She'll remember it. Or you could make your own version. And why would I do that? He spent years perfecting the perfect ratio between flour, salt, and potato. Uh, a lot's on the line here, not just the market, but also my dignity. If I let Jonas win, he's never going to let me live it down. Okay, fine. You do you. I'm just happy to see you in the kitchen again. You used to cook all the time. Why'd you stop? I don't know. Life. Between the garden and the market, I barely have time to eat, let alone cook for myself, so... Ah, uh, will you, uh, have you that dish towel over there? Does Bono, how everybody does it? He does what? All this. The balancing work, life, family, finances. <laughs> Don't forget about love. Dex. How come I feel like everybody's got it figured out except for me? They don't. Trust me. There's no recipe for life. We are all out here just... making it up as we go along. Isn't that just great? Why, hello, dear. Where have you been? You haven't been at the market all day. Do you have any idea what kind of homemade pastry withdrawals you have me suffering from? Turns out, pop-up restaurants preparation have taken quite a bit of my time. But not to worry. Okay, I forgive you. My favorite. Mmm. Oh. What do you think? Oh. You made these? Lucy and I made them together. On our break? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Dexter, <laughs> what is this? A cook-off. Now I can post this to our socials. People are gonna go crazy for this. This was just supposed to be between us, not the entire world. What's wrong, Alexander? Can't take the heat? Welcome, judges. It's time for our challenge. What do you think you're doing? Hey! You can't use a recipe. That's cheating. Okay, fine. You will have one hour. On your mark. Get set. Go! It was important to me that 
our pop-up menu reflected the values of Lucy's Market. So, I decided to go with my grandfather's famous pesto gnocchi. It's a recipe that's been in my family for generations. This tastes mm. different than I remember. Oh, uh, well, <clears throat> I did have to make a, a few minor tweaks on the fly. Mm. Different, but better. You can't go wrong with gnocchi. It's a classic. Mm. That's right, Gabe. It is a classic. It's safe, it's comforting, but it's also predictable, which is why I've created an inspired approach. Filet mignon with a Bordelais wine sauce, pomme de terre fondant, and kale Caesar. And you want us to pick which one is better? Yep, pick mine. Okay, okay. Yuchu, this is pretty tough. Why can't we just go with both again? I agree. It's definitely a tie. A tie? No, 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 we can't have a tie. Why? The more food, the better, right? Ah, we can make it a buffet. Everyone loves a good buffet. Yes. Or we could do a whole farm-to-table experience. I've been to a few of those in Italy. You've been to Italy? Okay, yes. We could have long communal-style tables mm -hmm. with several dishes, all made from garden-fresh vegetables. A mix of classic and unique. Well, I guess it suits the market's mission statement. Farm fresh in the big city. I'm willing to call it a draw if you are. That won't be necessary. You are both winners. Let me show you, okay? Like this. Now you try. Nice job. Took me all freshman year to learn that trick. What can I say? I'm competitive. No, really? You know, for someone who claims I'm not a chef, you really gave me a run for my money tonight. Oh, that? That was nothing. Nothing? You were chopping and sprinkling and flipping and you got talent even for somebody without a recipe well that means a lot coming from a real chef like you thanks what is that a real chef i don't know somebody who's got training who actually knows what they're doing you don't need training to be a chef all you need is instinct some of the best chefs are actually the least trained they're the ones that are actually steal the show it might get me in trouble sometimes, but my vote always goes to the chefs who wear their heart on the sleeves. Trouble, huh? My co-host and I don't exactly see eye to eye on anything, really. I'm sure Gormay really had a problem with that. Oh no, at first, no. They encouraged the conflict that brought in the ratings. But then just things started to get too personal. Oh. Sorry, he must miss it. Uh, your your job on the show, I mean. Uh, yeah, some parts of it, yes, and others, no. I certainly don't miss the stress and expectations. But isn't that your whole shtick? I mean, you're the infamous Jonas Conway, the hard to please, brutally honest, no filter judge. It was fun for a while being the show's villain. I loved the shock value. Yeah. The thing I miss the most is mentoring the up-and-coming chefs. I really do miss being a teacher. You know how it goes. Sometimes life just takes you down unexpected roads. Certainly, Dennis. Yeah, let's clean up this mess. <laughs> This looks like a good spot. Okay. These turned out amazing. Oh, didn't they? Dexter is a marketing genius. The colors, the font, the layout. I can't take credit for any of it. It's all him. I'm not talking about the sign. I'm talking about the smile. 
I couldn't help but notice she was in Jonas yesterday. Grandma. What? The grandma knows. There's a little spark. I could see it. That was not a spark you saw. That was him driving me crazy. This is all about the market for me. Okay, okay. No spark. For now, anyway. Ooh. Actually, maybe there was a spark. Between you and Gabe, perhaps. Gabe? Oh, no. We're just working together, that's all. Keeping it professional. Are you sure? Because, you know, it seems like you two have a lot in common. You've always dreamt of traveling the world, and he seems to be into that sort of thing. He does. Huh. I didn't notice. Uh-huh. But, 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 didn't fool me. All right, maybe try over there? Okay. <laughs> Ava, hey. Well, well. It isn't the man himself. Didn't know you were such a food acrobat. I would have called a circus. It's not too late. Working in TV's overrated anyway. Well, actually, that's why I'm calling. Guess who has a hot lead for a new cooking show out of LA? Producers are looking for their new star judge, and they called asking to see if you'd be interested. Oh, wow, LA. That's right. Looks like our little PR stunt's finally starting to pay off. What about gourmet relay? Still nothing. Forget about Gourmet Relay. This would be your own show. No co-stars or guest judges to fight with? Right, no, I'm excited. I just, Atlanta's always been my home. And it always will be. Look, I know you've been enjoying this little time off, but it's time to get back to work. It's your job we're talking about. Right, no, you're right. I... Great, and in the meantime, keep up this little act with Leah. Oh, and uh, Jonas. Got a good feeling about this one. This could be the big opportunity we've been working towards. Thanks, Ava. Big? This is more than big. It's viral. Our social media engagement has skyrocketed overnight. This is the kind of chemistry people are dying to see. Chemistry? That's right. And thanks to all this buzz, What's Hot Atlanta wants to have you two out for a couple of interviews on their live podcast. One about the kids' cooking show and the other about the pop-up restaurant. Uh, live, as in on the air? Are, are, you, are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, don't worry. You won't be going in unprepared. What's this? Your homework. Do you expect us to read this entire book by tomorrow? And answer all the questions. It'll help you two get to know each other. Being prepared is key when it comes to interviews. Have fun. Hey, look who it is. You found us. This is quite the operation you have going on here. 40 years in the making. Let me make you dinner. Oh, I shouldn't stay. I just came to drop these off. I finally finished the seating charts. Now we can work place settings. Thank you. I guess I'll see you tomorrow then, to go over place settings. Yep. Is that Jonas? Sure is. He always wanted to go to Italy, and so when he graduated culinary school, it took him. Have you ever been? No, I haven't. Not yet, anyway. I've always wanted to go, but never got around to it. Stay for dinner. I'll tell you all about it. Okay. Why not? My grandparents at the market's grand opening. You're kidding. That's you, right? No. It's my grandma. That doesn't look like Atlanta. Oh, no, that's their homestead. They, uh, they moved all the way from the country to Atlanta to follow their dreams. Who? They wanted to bring the homesteading lifestyle to the big city. Hence the community garden. Uh, yeah, growing your own food is a big part of it, sure. And it, it turns out you don't actually need a whole lot of land. You just 
be creative. You can grow food pretty much anywhere the sun shines. So I've got an empty lot, a balcony, even a rooftop. And what's your dream? Well, it's certainly a big question. Uh, okay. Um, well, it's always been my dream to transform this place into more than just a market. A holistic teaching center where people learn to grow and cook their own food and there's a state-of-the-art kitchen and a urban garden space on the rooftop. Wow. <laughs> and what's holding you back? It's complicated. Money, mostly. Renovations are not cheap. <laughs> Enough about me. Your turn in the hot seat, okay? What is your biggest dream? I don't know. Let's hear it. Okay. To be done with this workbook. Oh, back on. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've always wanted to publish a cookbook. Wow. And how's that going? Okay. Except for the fact that the only thing I've written is two sentences and the title. Well, it's a start. You have been pretty busy. Very, yeah. Gourmet Relay has been pretty demanding. It's been nice to have some time to breathe. Honestly, this is the most fun I've had in a long time. Me too. Oh, well, um, that is the final question, actually. Yeah, it's getting pretty late. Is it day tomorrow? Yeah. I'll take that back. Uh, yeah. I, um, you, you can go ahead, I'll, I'll look up. Good night, Leah. Good night. certainly is. I have good news. You do? Congratulations. You booked the job. You are officially the star of the new reality series, Meal Masters. I, I don't know what to say. I know uprooting your life won't be easy, but I'll be here with you every step of the way. When do I leave? They want to start filming in the next couple weeks, so you have time to wrap up this little PR stunt, and then you can toss in your gardening gloves for good. Oh, got a jet. I'll send over the contract once I have all the details finalized. Okay, um... Congratulations. We did it. Let's go over this one more time. Uh, rule number one, stay positive. Rule number two, be yourself. And rule number three, don't let your guard down. Just because they're nice doesn't mean they're trustworthy. Hi there. Jay. Hi, <laughs> nice to see you. Jonas Conway, Leah Alexander. I'm a huge fan. Seriously, it's an honor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, we're uh, happy to be here. Uh, uh, follow me, I'll show you to the green room. Do you guys want some tea or coffee? Uh -huh. hmm? It sounds like you two have been busy, huh? We sure have, uh, but it's been a lot of fun working together. So what's next? Well, actually, Jonas and I have- I mean for you, Jonas. Uh, Gourmet Relay must be banging at your door to get you back. I mean, look at you. You're a whole new man. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Uh, don't be modest. You must be dying to get back in front of the camera where you belong, huh? Uh, not necessarily. I think it's important to live life one day at a time, to be present. 
So you're not making any TV appearances anytime soon? I, I don't know what the future holds, but what I do know is I'm in no rush, especially since Leah and I have some really exciting things planned, like a cooking class for kids this Thursday at the market. Uh, yeah, that, that's right. Spots are filling up fast. So if any of you parents out there have an aspiring young chef who would like to learn to cook with Jonas Conway, get your tickets now. Coming right up. Oh no, that's okay. It's on the house. On the house? So when did you start giving out freebies? That was Lucy. I promised her she could try my porcini pizza. You two been spending quite a bit of time together, huh? I suppose you could say that. She's a nice lady. We get along just fine. Just fine? I think you get along more than just fine. She's totally into you. I can tell. I don't think so. Well, I do. And you know what else I think? You should ask her on a date. A date at my age? But what about you and Leah? I heard you on the radio this morning. Don't remind me. What's wrong? You sounded great. It sounded like you were speaking from the heart. And I was. Eva called me this morning for the interview. I've been offered my own cooking show. Jonas, that's great news. In LA. I leave in a few weeks. That's not so bad. It's a short flight. Isn't that what you wanted? It is. Or it was at first. Even I always talked about getting my own show. I just didn't anticipate it being on the other side of the country. And you're right. Taking a little time off from TV hasn't been that bad. It's actually been quite enjoyable. What does Leah think? I haven't exactly told her yet. You've got feelings for her. And you're afraid she'll be disappointed. Sort of, yeah. And Eva asked me to keep it on the down low. Sure. Well, you eventually have to tell her. If she has feelings for you too, she'll understand. And I will. Just after the pop-up restaurant. There's no need to stir the pot right now. Okay, that's all 12 spaces filled. Lucy's Market's very first Little Sprout cooking class is officially full. I cannot believe all of this interest. I still have at least two dozen more people looking to register. Really? Do you think Jonas would be willing to come back and teach a couple of more classes? Let's try to get through this one first, please. Why? I know it's going to be amazing. You and Jonas are the perfect team. So perfect, I'm thinking of starting up my own career. Oh yeah, and what would that be? Matchmaking. Not you two. Come in. Knock, knock. Hey, Grandma. I brought pizza. Speaking of matchmaking. Oh, la la. Match what? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Ooh, I'm hungry. Thanks for coming, everybody. There's a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Uh, group one, you'll be in charge of herbs. Um, we need sage, basil, chives, rosemary, and thyme. Group two, you'll be in charge of veggies. This is beans, kale, radish, tomatoes. Okay, happy harvesting. And remember, we only want the very best ingredients. The countdown is on. I know, it's all happening so fast. Papa restaurant only a few days away and the cooking class this afternoon. <laughs> you seem nervous. Very. Everything all right? Oh yeah, yeah, fine. It's uh, just the usual. You want to cut them when they look like this. That way, they'll be opening just in time for the pop-up restaurant. Voila. Perfect. Someone's a quick learner. Well, I have a great teacher. Speaking of teacher, 
That pizza last night was amazing. What's your secret? Wild mushrooms. I forage for them myself. Seriously? I change my pizza recipes depending on what's in season or what I can find. Actually, I plan on going tomorrow. You wouldn't have to want to join me, would you? We could uh, use our harvest to make dinner together. I could teach you some more of my secrets. Join you. Um, I should probably check my calendar. Yeah. Will you give me a moment? Of course. It should work, I guess. Leah! Right here? <gasps> Grandma, are you okay? What's wrong? Gabe, ask me mushrooms. <gasps> mushrooms? Gabe asked me out on a date. He told me how he forages mushrooms, then he asked me to go along. Oh my gosh, you're going mushroom picking with Gabe? Oh, oh no, I'm not going. Well, why not? That sounds like it's right up your alley. Yeah, and with Gabe's expertise, you have nothing to worry about. He knows how to spot all the deadly mushrooms. It's not that, it's just a date at my age. It's been years. Don't put so much pressure on yourself, Grams. It's just two people hanging out. Yeah, like Lee and I, just hanging out. That's it? You two can come with us. Like a double date? Us? No. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want us tagging along, do you? Sure, what's the harm? Just four friends hanging out? She does have a point. Please. Fine. We'll come. Eee! This is going to be so fun. A double date with my granddaughter. I feel like a teenager. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, good to see you. Hi. Finally, you're here. I printed these off for you. A script? Yes. It's outlining all of the important topics I'd like to cover today. You don't actually expect me to sell this, do you? It's the market's first cooking class. It has to be perfect. No, it doesn't. It has to be fun. Having a plan is fun. Wow. The rooftop looks perfect. Mm. We ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Welcome, everybody, to Lucy's Market's Rooftop. <laughs> uh, I, I'm Leah Alexander, and this is... Jonas Conway. Take it away, Jonas. Today, we will teach you some simple ways you can take your cooking skills to the next level. Instincts are everything when it comes to cooking. And what better way to teach you to follow your instincts than by making your own personal sized pizza? Leah's right. You know, there's a lot of room for improvisation when it comes to making pizza, especially since you get to choose the toppings. They can be savory or sweet. <laughs> Anything goes. Today, there are no rules. <laughs> That's not it. That's good. I know. Um, Today is all about you guys. So if there's anything specific that you want from this class, Now's the time to ask. Can you teach us how to do this? Oh, that, uh, yeah, well, I don't know if, <laughs> uh. All right, sure. Watch and learn, kiddos. <clears throat> Try 
and Olive. I know you love them so much. Wow. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. All right, everybody. <laughs> oh, almost. Look at you. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Chocolate. Now that, that's something else. So, Jonas, what's the verdict? These pizzas are crazy. Absolutely crazy. And that's what it's about. Trusting your instincts, trying new things, and breaking the rules. And you know what else? These kids know how to break the rules. Okay, everyone, lean in for a picture. You too, Leah. All right, everyone say pizza. Pizza! Looks like your cooking class was a success. Our cooking class. I um, couldn't have done it without you. Oh my London grandma, you look hot. <laughs> she does. I thought I better dress the part for our double date. Double date? Don't ask. Hmm. I will call you later. Mm -hmm. yes. So here we are. What do you think? This is so nice. Hey, you two, we're going on up ahead. Great, we'll catch up. How long have you two known each other? My entire life. <laughs> he and my dad were close friends before he passed. I'm so sorry. Thanks. <laughs> After that, Gabe became sort of like a father to me. He gave me a job, and he even let me crash on his couch when I was paying my way through culinary school. Wow. You two sound like you have a pretty close bond. We do. Sort of like you and your grandmother, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty special to me. My parents divorced when I was pretty young, so she's really been the only constant in my life. And she still is. Although, I would love to see her spread her wings and fly. What do you mean? She's retired. She should be off traveling the world, but I can barely get her to leave the market half the time. Yeah, she certainly is a tough cookie. <laughs> and stubborn. You must run the family. Hey, guys, look what Lucy found. Oh. There's so you many really different kinds. This is perfect. perfect. Thank that you. Well, you told me what to look yeah. for. This is the mother load. Shams are all nicely done, nicely done. Grandma, you're a natural. Isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> it's all because of you. No, I you do this. This is the mother. I know. Thanks for taking one for the team today. 
What are friends for? So, any word from Gourmet Relay? I'm sure with all the good press, they must be thinking twice about firing you. Yeah, uh, there's a lot up in the air right now. Who knows what I'll be doing in a couple of weeks. Well, I, we don't have anything lined up. I was thinking, well, we were thinking maybe you'd join us for another cooking class. Like a guest instructor. Yeah. You always saying you wanted to teach, and I think you're right. You're where a natural with the kids. Thanks. But I am going to have to put you in touch with my people to negotiate the terms. I see. I could sweeten the deal with sprinkles. And? And no script. Fly by the seat of our pants. Deal? Deal. Jonas Conway! That's me. Dude, let's get a picture. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. I'm man Jonas. Right, okay. Uh, we should probably get going. We have a, a busy day tomorrow. The podcast's promotion. And yeah, Dexter sure does love to get us up, girl. He does. Chin Wong? Yeah, take him around. No, I think we need to reevaluate. Hey, uh, can I call you back? Yeah, okay, bye. Hey! Hey, Ava, I got your message. Hate to rush you, but can we make this quick? Jonas, have a seat. I talked to the producers of Meal Masters today, and then we can fly out early. Okay, uh, how early? First thing tomorrow morning. What? No, no, the, the pop-up restaurant's tomorrow night. There's no way I'm missing that. I know, and I'm sorry, I know you were looking forward to that. People are expecting me to be there, Ava. I can't just leave Leah hanging like that. Well, actually, you will be making an appearance. We'll have you video chat in, make a quick little speech. That way you can please everyone. I know this is last minute, but they need you there ASAP. They have several talk show appearances lined up for you because of today's press release. Okay, I get that, but... Press release? Where is he? It's almost eight. I don't know. He texted me he was running late, but he assured me he'd be here. This doesn't make any sense. I, I hope everything's okay. It's, it's not like him not to show up. I'm sure he has a good excuse. All right, we ready? The show must go on. And three, two, all right, and we are back with a very special guest, Leah Alexander. <laughs> She's got some very exciting things happening over at Lucy's Market, isn't that right? Everyone's excited. That's right, Jay. Tomorrow we're hosting our very first one night only farm to table culinary experience. We'll have gourmet food made with only the best locally sourced ingredients. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Wine and dine and support your local community market. Man, are you ever making me hungry? Sign me up. We'll get your tickets fast because they are selling out. Uh, I'm sure they are. Uh, will your partner in crime, Jonas Conway, be making an appearance? Of course. Uh, we'll be co-hosting the event together. Oh, I figured he'd be headed off to Hollywood already, uh, given the recent uh, headline. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're referring to. Only the biggest celebrity news of the day. <laughs> Atlanta's native son is headed off to Hollywood to headline his own cooking show. <laughs> and there he is. Leah, wait. I can explain. Explain what, Jonas? How oh, you used me and 
led me on this entire time. That's not true. You had every opportunity to tell me about this job, and you didn't, so. I was gonna tell you, I swear. It's just that everything happened so fast, and honestly, I don't even know if I was gonna take the job. But you did. You're leaving. Right, but it's not supposed to go that way. Well, it seems to me like you got exactly what you wanted. Your big publicity stunt worked. Congratulations. Leah, please. You mean more to me than this publicity stunt. No. Whatever this was, it's over now. Good luck in L.A. I'm really, really happy for you, I am. Let's get you some Parmesan. Say when. I can't believe I let this happen. You were right. I should have told Leah about the job offer as soon as I found out. Don't beat yourself up. You got a lot on your plate. It's never too late to make things right. No, I think it is. I fly out in the morning. They want me in LA right away. And what is it you want? What do you need? Life's short, Jonas. What is it that makes you happy? Once you know the answer to that, everything else will fall into place. Thanks, Kim. think? Dex, I don't know how you did it, but thank you. No, Leah, this, this is all you. The market, the garden, the cooking classes. It's your dream. Of course, I played a role. I love you, Dex. Speaking of love. Okay. Hi, welcome. Enjoy. And no, thank you for coming. Thank you. Hi. How long, wonderful bike? Everything's almost all set. Hey, Grandma. Are you okay? I'm okay. In fact, uh, in fact, I'm more than okay. It's a big night. I heard about Jonas. It's too bad he couldn't be here tonight. I'm fine. I mean, this was the plan the whole time, wasn't it? I shouldn't be surprised that he's putting his career first. 
It's a big opportunity for him. It's okay to be hurt, the yacht. I'm okay. It's just... Grandma. How come I feel like I always come so close to getting what I want? Something's always standing in my way. Life is full of obstacles, but you can't give up hope. As long as you believe it will happen, it just takes time. It's my help with help. Maybe this whole farm to table thing is just not meant to be. Okay. So everything hasn't gone exactly as you hoped for. But that doesn't mean tonight's a failure. I don't know. I just wanted to show you I could handle everything on my own. But I feel like I've wasted everyone's time. And with Jonas not coming tonight, who knows who even is going to show up. Leah, we're not here because of the pop-up restaurant. We're here because we love you. Look, I know I was a bit more involved than you had hoped for these last two years, but that doesn't mean I don't believe in you. You don't? You know. Honestly, watching you take risks, learn new things, and stepping out of your shell have inspired me. <gasps> You bought a trip. A trip to Italy in the fall. Grandpa, that's amazing. Ben. Take it from me. Two steps forward and one step back is still progress. I know it's tough running the market. But you're stronger than you think. Thank you. First ever Lucy's Organic Market Farm to Table Experience. Thank you so much for coming. It is my honor to introduce the host of tonight's event, the owner of Lucy's Market, and my best friend, Leah Alexander. Ah, good evening, everyone. And yes, again, thank you so much for being here. Seeing all your faces tonight just it means the world to me. I've always dreamed of a night like tonight where people could come together to share and laugh and enjoy a home-cooked meal straight from the garden. It's been a long road to get here tonight. And of course, like anything else, it hasn't come without its hurdles. But if I learned anything this past few weeks, it's that it's okay to lean on others for support. Asking for help isn't something to be ashamed of. It's, in fact, something to be celebrated. Which is why tonight, I would like to celebrate all of you. I might not know what the future holds, but one thing I do know for certain is that Lucy's is more than just a market. It's a community. Yes, there is a lot more to do, of course. But thanks to every one of you, we are one step closer. So as that old saying goes, to plant a seed today is to believe in tomorrow. And I think we all certainly did that. So, 
Cheers to each and every one of you. And bon appétit. We did it. We did it. Don't look now, but I think that guy over there is staring at you. You got this. Mm -hmm. Hey. What are you doing here? Well, I tried to get a ticket, but your event sold out. Gabe snuck me into the back. Uh huh. Shouldn't you be in LA? Yeah, but I've been thinking about something you said a few weeks ago. Don't steal my carrots? No. You said seeds want to grow, they just need to be planted in the right spot. I've had more fun in the last few weeks than I've had in the last five years. I'm writing again. I'm cooking with kids. I'm with you. I'm growing. I don't want to throw that away. So you're, uh, you're not taking a job in LA? No. And I was thinking if you're open to the idea of having me come back as a guest in church. Under the same terms? I'm willing to compromise. I'm really sorry, Lee. Of course I'll have you back. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. That what is this? Dexter, help me with it. It's a business plan for your farm to table education center. The gourmet relay producers were so impressed with Dexter's transformation bust. They wanted to invest in your project. Are you kidding me? Jonas. Amazing. Well, I guess you proved me wrong. Life isn't about following some recipe, is it? It's about following your instincts. What are your instincts telling you now?